Today I'll show you guys how to create this awesome animated background in Premiere Pro. Full credit to the original creator of this animation, Sound Duck Films made an awesome tutorial in After Effects. However, I'm just going to show you guys how to create it in Premiere Pro. So let's just get right into it. Alrighty, so once you get into your Premiere Pro project, the first thing we're going to do is create those three different colors. I'll put them on screen right now and in the description so it's a little easier for you guys to get them. But the first thing we're going to do is go down here to this little paper icon go to the color mallet and then we're gonna have the width to 1920 and the height of 1080 and press ok and then we're just gonna go ahead and grab the first color which is the dark purple and paste it right into the hashtag area click ok and then click ok again and you should see it appears on this left side we're gonna create the second color so do the same things go to the little paper icon go to the color mallet click ok grab the second color which should be the middle color copy and paste it right into here click ok and then ok once more and then just the final one go back to the color same steps as i said before we just need to get these three colors in first because it makes the whole animation a lot easier to do so once we have all three of the colors in we're going to go ahead and grab the purple one and drag it right onto our timeline we're going to drag it out to about 20 seconds and then we're just going to go ahead and grab the middle color which is the kind of purplish pink one going to place it right on top of the other previous color and then just drag it out to the same length. So we're going to add some effects to this very top layer. So we're going to click on it, go up to the effects panel and type in transform. We're going to double click on that transform under the distort file. And then we should go up here to the effects controls panel and then just scroll down to the transform layer. And then right by position, we're going to go here to the 540 and just drag this down to about 1300. Once we have the position in the correct order, we're going to go back up to the effects and type in turbulent displace should be under distort as well. And we're just going to drag that into the second one right here. And as you can see, it's created a little bit of a wavy font. Now we are going to have to edit this a little bit. So we're just going to scroll down to the turbulent displace effects, keep the amount the same and just change the size to 35. Now we want to make sure that this blue tracer is at the very beginning of the animation. So just drag it to the very start of your timeline, go to the evolution and click a keyframe right here. And then we're just going to drag our blue tracer to the very end of the animation and then we're going to change the evolution to i believe times 10. now the final thing we're going to add is just go back up to the effects and type in drop shadow we're going to just double click that right on there and then just scroll down for it we're going to change the opacity to 65 we're going to change the direction to 2 and then we're just going to change the softness to 30. now we're going to want to duplicate this entire layer and make sure it goes on the top side of the screen so all we're going to have to do is hold alt grab that top layer and then just grab it and drag it up and let go and as you can see we have a duplicate layer so with this duplicate layer we're going to go up here to the effects control panel and then just type in vertical and you should see under the transform there is a vertical flip and we're just going to double click right on this third layer and as you can see the screen goes completely to that color which is a good sign so we're just going to adjust this a little bit we're going to go up to the motion tab and under position we're just going to type in negative 218 and press OK. Next step is just adding some more tracks because we are limited right now. So I'm just going to right click on this dead space, go to add tracks, and then we're just going to add a additional five tracks and click OK. Once you have those additional tracks, you can just hold control and use your scroll wheel to scroll up and down. But for now, I'm just going to grab that third and final color and drag it right on top of everything and drag it out. We're going to do the same steps as before. Go to the effects panel and type in transform, drag that bad boy right onto that top layer. And then we're just going to scroll down on that to find the transform layer and drag the position all the way down to about the halfway point right here. Next, since we already created a drop shadow and turbulent displace on the other layers, we're just gonna go to either one of them and then we're just gonna click on the turbulent displace layer, hold control and click on the drop shadow layer. We're gonna press control copy and then we're gonna go back up to the very first layer and then just press control V. 
And as you can see, those effects were placed to that top layer. Next, we're just gonna have to duplicate that layer. So just hold Alt, grab that top layer and drag it up and release on your mouse and you've created a duplicate layer. Make sure you're selected on the very top one, go up to the effects panel and then type in vertical once more. Double click on that bad boy and you should be able to see the complete color. And then you're just gonna go to the motion tab and under position, just do negative 356. The final step is just going up to this little paper icon and then going to an adjustment layer and then just clicking OK. Then we're just going to grab this adjustment layer from our media browser and drag it right on top of everything and just drag it out. And then we're just going to go up to the effects panel and type in noise. Just find the one that just says noise right here. Just going to drag it on the adjustment layer and then we're going to go to the effects controls and just change that noise amount to seven all right and that's how you create this awesome animated background in premiere pro if you guys do have any other suggestions for after effect projects you want in premiere pro let me know down below but that's everything from you guys peace out